Hello there, this is Melek, and welcome to episode 9 of my Let's Repeatedly Die in Dishonored 2. Who's that? Come on, give me a break! Grand Guard soldiers, lap dogs for the Duke. Come on then. Damn it. Go on then. Um, so anyway, yes. This should take me out to the Institute. Absolutely nothing's going on here. There must be some underground tunnels or something. Now there is another. There it is. Maybe I control a rat to get into that little tunnel area. If I possess a rat... Hmm... Well, it's definitely in there. Inquisitive intellect, tinkerers and aspiring criminals alike. If you open this and are safe, the precious silver inside is yours to take home. Participants are limited to 30 minutes and one attempt only. Well, there's an office. Personnel only. You've been warned. I'm going to call for help. I wasn't technically warned, dude. I mean, really, really wasn't. Dear Cyril, I'm working so late these days, I might as well sleep at Adamire. I know it's not good for my health, and a doctor should know better. And you're totally right. But I have the feeling I'm about to discover something important, something that will improve my Adamire solution. Would you be so kind as to water my plants for a few days? You do a better job than me anyway. I always forget them. Help yourself to an elixir in my reserve, if you like. I hope Caroline gets better soon. Your neighbor and friend, Alexandria. Right. They'd have the, um... They'll have the combination somewhere. Probably. They got a lot of, um... Yeah, I want this safe. It's only three combinations, and you know that once you get the combination, it... unlocks. Um, I think this might take... I can't be bothered to do that. But I would eventually, obviously, get that. I just brute forced the bloody thing. They're not very good safes. And that is, that's actually assuming it works like the other one. That the moment you get the combination right, it just spontaneously unlocks. Let's, um... 
Let's go upstairs. It's worryingly easy to break into this place. To say that this is basically a security sort of shop, showroom thing, I don't know what to call it. What the hell even is that? Weird painting. This must be the alchemist's apartment, Alexandria Hypatia. Yeah, I don't think he's remembered to water plants. They look a bit dead and dying. She likes her insects. I'll give her that. Ooh, some of those salts that I can. Wow. Flush toilet. That's, um, it's pretty posh. What's going on at Adermeyer? What's the Duke's interest and how is it connected to Delilah? Institute of Infectious Diseases. What actually... How does it protect people? What, what What's it for, do you know? Rats, blood flies. There's always some plague killing off the weak. Yeah, that is true. Not much we can do about that, though. Hopefully... <laughs> some... Some freakish creature. Nest keeper. Alexandra, I've always believed the idea of bloodfly nest keepers to be a legend or drunken minor talk, even though members of the Grand Guard have reported putting down belligerent occupants when burning out bloodfly infestations. As such, this silver graph represents a rare sighting. We have only to conclude that the final stages of blo bloodfly fever occasionally result in an extraordinary kind of brain damage, where the host fixates on protecting the nests. The bloodflies, in turn, welcome the afflicted person, and thus a symbiotic relationship results. It's not symbiotic, it's parasitic! The guy doesn't benefit anything, they're basically dead. <sighs> bloodfly research never ceases to amaze. If we could procure a sample from the brain of one of these nest keepers, I'd love to observe the effect on rats or wolfhounds in my lab laboratory. Oh my god, that's what she's doing. Oh, they're probably zombifying people. That can't be good. I mean... It sounds a little bit like they're gonna be zombifying people. Yeah, that... Yeah. Oh, notes, books, no. nothing. It's a nice enough little apartment, but not much use to me. Uh, and there's nowhere else up here. Well, this is nice and private. Damn it. I mean, I could. Problem you've got is, as always, 
is the sheer amount of time these sorts of things take. See, I've only done 10% of it. I don't think I can really be bothered. One little glance around here to see if there's anything. And then I'm just going to have to accept that it's a brute force attempt or find the clue elsewhere. Oh, hang on, what's up here? Shame. That's a big shame. Chasing the ladybirds? Chrome tan? Are you kidding? It's all Howard's in there. So don't wear your uniform. They keep good whiskeys there. They even stuff. Oh, I wonder who that was. Let me know next time you go. I'll have a look around. So let's see. What was it? the hell? Okay, I died really horribly. Hopefully the checkpoint isn't too bad. But, you know, I do forget to do quick saves. Saloon of Paolo's shooting dice or <laughs> chasing the ladybirds. Are you kidding? It's all. Come back here! <laughs> That's a little bit more. Maybe I can drag the Duke of Circonos through one of these. Well, the cable goes this way. Plans I used the old lamp prow. Really? I've never seen her without either a drink or a mandolin in her hands. <laughs> Won't she die of boredom? Old lamp prow's small, but there's a nightlife. And coming from Karnaka, Olinda's gonna be a draw. Mm, big fish in a small pond. That may have killed them. And I'm eating their food. And I'm carrying a severed arm. Oh, wow. See, the thing is, is I've got a full stack of all of these things. So it's not like... Okay, I like the, uh, the moving shadows. Yeah, I like how the moving shadows work. <laughs> the random leg. Looks inactive. Edermeyer Station. This should take me out to the Institute. I thought 
I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. Very annoying. But I'm okay. Now there was food over here. I think I ate loads of it though. Not all of it, but, but, but enough of it. And I missed some money as well. Well that's no good. I like the fact that I'm maxed out on those things now. And it's literally a case of I find one, I can fully heal myself, and then pick it up. That's a crazy place to have a tree. Look at the size of it. That must be like 100 years old tree. It's, a, it's totally older than the city. Well, maybe not older than the city, but damn. Yeah, I couldn't find the combination for that. And I couldn't find a way in for there, apart from with a rat, maybe. So I'm kind of thinking, if I come back to here, there are things that I need to collect. But until then, I think I'm going to jump in here. Because this can only end well. this this is traveling in style dead whales well I've gone fully to assault mode but I'm, I'm not like massive lethal yet I'm trying my best Most runes, most bone charms, a blueprint. Wow, didn't really do very much. Managed to, uh, managed to do all those though. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not replaying the mission. That's just a mad waste of time. So the institute. Diseases. Great. Adermeyer. My best chance for tracking down the crown killer. The place used to be a solarium for the idle rich where they flocked for rejuvenation treatments. Hmm. It was founded just after the plague hollowed out Dunwall a decade and a half ago. Alexandria Hypatia is chief alchemist. And whether Anton Sokolov is still there or not, she's going to give me the answers I need. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's, um... 
slightly sinister asylum type place now. Hopefully there's no guards immediately at the other end. I'm going to double check. Some of these potions may very well be mana rejuvenation type potions. Um, so I know that R is heal, basically. It's, it's drink one of those things to heal. Mana elixir, T. So that makes sense. Question is, how many mana elixirs do I have? Is that what those things are? There we go. I'm assuming that they are. What just happened? But I broke something by by hitting it. There's um there's a bone charm under here. How the hell do I get to it? Dangerous. Wonder what happens if um if as if I'm possessing a creature it falls to its doom. I wonder whether I die. I'm assuming I do because I'm kind of inhabiting its body physically, so therefore I fall to my doom. Slightly more damage. Well, I mean, I don't use my pistol, but it's a, you know, I might find myself in need of it at some point. So I don't know. I remember that albino rats were more significant they were significant in some way in the first game something's amiss. Well, then I just can't get comfortable.
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be stealthy a little bit. I think it's time to spend some of my thingy bobs. I don't really have. What does this do? Yes. I use it a lot. Penny drinks, huh? Oh, I see. He's walking. No! My children need me! Let me go! Grand Guard personnel, remember, the back dock is restricted to ship changes and watchtower operations. What's this bone charm? Oh, I can move faster while it's stealthed. Yeah! Sounds good to me. Right then. I should call it this session, I think. I'm gonna hide over here. Because... Oh, hello. Um... Because it's, it's we're over time. So, yes. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Cheerio.